Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it to another one, brothers and sisters. The very first out of two reactions I'll be dropping on this YouTube platform. So, welcome, brothers and sisters. Welcome to this BR BPTV. Be real, be positive television, brothers and sisters. And of course, welcome to every single one of you guys who tuned in to another vibrations. I do appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in to this year vibrations, your boy, Mr. Licks. And of course, I know last night we actually did a nice vibes with the live, for which I definitely will do more of the lives, definitely. In the near future so definitely keep it locked on that vibrations right there but of course guys i'll be jumping on another one on mr x reaction and guys you definitely want to tune in for that so that link will be posted in the first comment in the comment box below comment box below guys and of course don't forget to do what hey guys hit that like button brother and sisters smash that like button i would appreciate that right there brother and sisters and don't forget to do what subscribe brother and sisters subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can pretty much get the vibrations as they tend to come through but brothers and sisters let us get into the vibrations for today of course we have none other than this particular woman who is screaming right now brothers and sisters why is she screaming well of course brothers and sisters she is filled with excitement she is thrilled brothers and sisters she is having a wonderful time because she's got gold for dominica this is none other than thea lafford right there brothers and sisters from dominica she was born in dominica in 1994 <laughs> I did a little research to find out who exactly she is. Of course, we knew that she was, I think, part of the, was, was it the Olympics of some sort? She was representing Dominica, and of course, she had a wonderful start. Unfortunately, she fell through in the end. But this time, guys, she came to redeem herself. Redeem herself thoroughly, brothers and sisters. And as you can see, she jumped very, very well in the World Indoor Championship right there. World Athletics Indoor Championship in Glasgow. 2024 right there with a jump of 15.01 meters brothers and sisters of course this is above 40 40 feet jumping over 40 feet around 42 feet in length 15 meters she has sprinted like a, a swan man she just flew <laughs> of course taking gold for the women's triple jump right there and as you can see she is having a wonderful ball of a time brothers and sisters as she smiles holding the dominican flag i think this is the very first one for dominica right there and of course she can't believe that she jumped this i think one of the things when she, we saw the jump brothers and sisters she was wondering if she actually made uh was it legal was it a legal jump you have to jump within a certain thing and she made it in the nick of a time for her to make the her personal best of course 1501 and as you can see her very excited right there with her abs and everything on deck she like to fly like a swan man <laughs> she's a grasshopper she springs <laughs> long jump brothers and sisters and of course you can see the excitement that is that is that is really excitement <laughs> yes man them kind of expressions you see in there brothers and sisters can only be handled by one who has truly conquered and of course, giving Dominica a wonderful rep right there. Of course, there was a short interview with her. Meters and this is what she had to see. The first ever for your country. I mean, what was her first ever gold? Winning gold for Dominica. Moment, 15 meters, gold medal, the first ever for your country. I mean, what are her feelings right now? Yo, um, it's like my let me Let me put this on the side a little more. You know, I feel like I, I, at some point it's going to hit. Um, and I think right now I'm just like really, really proud. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have done what I did. I'm proud of, you know, Aaron and I. Aaron is my coach and husband. Our work. And I'm so proud to be from this small, beautiful country, powerful country in the Caribbean. I'm so sorry. Um, um, and I am so grateful. You know, I really hope that today was just an inspiration. Today was just a day that just brought joy to my people. I want them to know how much I love them and how much I appreciate them. I want my DOC and my DAA to know how much I'm grateful and how grateful I am for their, their love, their support, um, even their prayers, you know, the people that just reach out and wish me a little good luck. And, um, you know, this is going to hit, it's probably going to hit at like 2 a.m. in the morning. And I'm going to end up like just sobbing in my pajamas. Um, <laughs> but until then, all I can say is how thankful I am um, for one, the opportunity to represent Dominica, and two, um, just the joy that I'm feeling right now. And I just feel just so lucky right now. 
Guys, one of the things that I noticed, uh, she's on, on Instagram as well. And I saw some of her, video, of her videos and she's constantly training, man. She's constantly training, just trying to get that right mark, that right jump, that right, you know, thrust in the air. As, of course, she would get momentum when she runs. And I saw her one of the springy things, man. And she was just practicing, practicing, practicing. And then she's saying she's got to do this again. And she keeps practicing and practicing. So this is not just someone who just came on the scene and like, Bow! Magic happened! No brothers and sisters. This is not Trilogy, you know? A trilogy won the full, first Calypso that he entered in. But, of course, she has been doing this for a while. And, of course... Seems like her work has paid off. Not finished. It has paid off, of course, giving Dominica its first gold medal uh, when it comes on to this spot right there. Of course, this is the actual uh, video of her um, doing that. Lafon was in the gold medal position. She's been demoted by Leas Paredes Hernandez. Let me see if I can bring it back a little. So she jumped. This was what I'm talking about, the legal jump. You have to jump on the white part. You can't jump before it. You cannot step before it. If you step before it, that means you, your jump is disqualified. And she Here made she it just it, man. Uh, man, you don't see this kind of long, the man. This is crazy. Brothers and sisters, we're going to go Hernandez. bit by bit and see this kind of. That is probably from there to where she. Man, that, that, man. man. Here she go. All right. I tell you, she's a flying grasshopper. Point. And then you have to jump. With and that's where that you have to really take your foot. And she did it. Right. Right. This is a 15 mark, brothers and sisters. And she landed perfectly that's right there. So she Jumped definitely... Into this pit. Boy, that 15, is some kind of job. I, I, I can't do that now. Her foot even look like it bend there. Look 15, at that. Zero. Yeah, man. Aye. Springing ninja. Wow. Mm -hmm. In the air. First. Of course, Mark. man. She's done it. Yes. She's technically very... 15.01, brothers She's always good in a championship environment, <laughs> and that's what you need in this. This is always a good thing, man. I always like to see Dominicans do well. Even though she seems to be training overseas and not in Dominica, I wish that one of the things that we should learn from is having the proper equipment. I think is not that there are a lot of skilled individuals in Dominica. Unfortunately, they don't have the necessary or maybe the coach, the right coaches or the right equipment that is needed to propel them forward. But of course, where she lives, for instance, I think it's Maryland around that area she lives. And um, she she definitely, you know, pushes herself because she has the right set of equipments. To keep training and i guess she definitely has the right set of doctors because th that kind of ben i see a food take there you know maybe some eyes have to rub on it some alcalado have to rub on it brothers and sisters and you know but she definitely did a wonderful job woman the phone today 1501 meters the performance of her life over 15 meters for the first time ever this is a best a personal best man just when it mattered just when it mattered, man. And the thing is, guys, she didn't just think of herself alone. She also thought of uh, the St. Lucian as well. Talking about the sister island. So Julian is from Julian, Russia. That's she's a neighboring country, it's Dominica. So this is Julian right there. I think Julian uh, won the 60 meters. Um, we share a lot of similarities cultural-wise. And I would be lying to you if I said I didn't cry last night when I saw her polls. Um, I messaged Aaron and... I told him that I like I, I so desperately want this. I don't want to disappoint. And his words back to me was like, "It's okay. It's your turn." And I one of the very first things I thought of when I got out there to the track after the introductions was like, "All right, I need a one-two punch for the Lesser Antilles Islands. Like Julian was the one. I gotta be the two, right? Like, let's do it. Let's do it." Um, but it was an amazing inspiration last night and filled me with such pride and once again these small countries providing such and yep. sorry just doing such amazing things um she's right and i knew saint lucia was going to be so proud and i wanted that same feeling for Almeida. so a huge thank you and congratulations to julian alfred for the inspiration wait last night i guess she got the inspiration like she stated before she got the inspiration from uh, julian alfred who of course won i think the 60 meters the female 60 meters race 
And she was like, yes, that's good, Dominic, um, St. Lucia. The Little Islands are, are taking it, man. And I have to do it for Dominica. I have to do it. Not just for myself, but Dominica. And of course, as you can see, she's very excited as well to also have met that mark. Not just St. Lucia did it, the sister island of Dominica. But of course, Dominica also made a gold medal. And of course, she was very happy about that. I know Dominicans were very happy because I saw a number of persons sharing this. This thing was filling my timeline. Not just my timeline, but my inbox as well. So I, I could not just leave this there. I have to definitely make a, a, a post on it. And of course, congratulate Thea Laford right there for definitely, you know, putting the best foot forward, keeping the training going. And of course, great things will happen, man. You did the 1501, your personal best. You know, you had a personal best of 49, I think. 49.1, I think. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think that was her personal best before. Now she has 1501, brothers and sisters. And of course, you can definitely go further than that. Them kind of long legs, I see that running inside their self. <laughs> you don't see them kind of thing there, boy. Look, at, let me show you guys. Look at that. Look at the girl jump and she flip over one foot. Watch that, no boy. Watch that. Long legs like ninja. You can fight karate, man. It's with yeah. her. Yes, man. Uh, and she did the 15, man. Congratulations. Right on the dot right there. Making it 1501. You can clearly see that right there brothers and sisters so congratulations to her and not just her brothers and sisters there have been orders as well one of which we caught right there on the dominica news online because we saw this right there dominica athlete kian benjamin shines at united states regional championship leading bow bow down bow doing college bow 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 doing hope i pronounce it bow doing college bow doing or bow doing college to best first finish, to best finish since 2023, right there, brothers and sisters. This is her right there. And she did a one, look at where she is, brothers and sisters. Running track, while the others behind. You will think it's her fans that day, we. <laughs> you will think it's her fans that day, brothers and sisters. Tell now, run faster, run faster. <laughs> because she's clearly way ahead of these folks. Way ahead, brothers and sisters. And of course, she's Dominican Kian, Kian Benjamin, I believe. Yes, brothers and sisters. And of course, according to this article, right here, Dominican Kian Benjamin, a standout athlete from the Baudouin, or Baudouin College, led the women's indoor track and field team to their best performance at the New England division, um, thirds since 20. 13 brothers and sisters interesting the team secured fourth place overall of course i'm sure that she had some you know doings to bring up the team to a standing where it could be fourth place she did put she did put her best foot forward um literally <laughs> i had to do this guys <laughs> but of course uh this uh the team secured fourth place at the regional championships last weekend benjamin was the star of the meet held earlier this week amassing an impressive 28 points how much in total did the school call um, um, um that would be interesting to find let me see she started her day by setting a new school record in the 60 meter finals clocking in 7.55 seconds right there brothers and sisters that's very fast brothers and sisters that's very very fast indeed so she definitely did her thing Right there, I myself, I hopefully I can clock a 10 in the 60. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yes, brothers, that's a very fast race. This is even faster than the 100 meters, which means as soon as you kick out, you're supposed to bop, 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 and you're supposed to maintain and increase in your speed, brothers and sisters. Ah, oh, that is that is some kind of things right there, brothers and sisters. This remarkable performance also placed her third on the NCC, NCAA, uh, AA performance list. So she's third on the NCAA performance list. Not stopping there, Benjamin ran her second best personal time in the 400. So she not only did the 60 meters, she did the 400. That's quite a vast difference right there. But of course, if you have the talent and skill sets, why not use it? You know, like Usain Bolt and the others. I think Usain Bolt used to run 400 before. Then he started specializing in the 100 meters. So that is definitely something else. The 400 meters is something I've run 400 before, brothers and sisters. And I can tell you that is not an easy race at all because you have to maintain stamina, maintain your speed. When you see you run, 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 maintain your speed 
and then hopefully the others back down or whatever but you maintain your speed that is truly a stamina race right there securing second place with a time of 56.04 she concluded her day by setting another school record in the 200 meters with a time of 24 35 seconds right there earning her second new england title of the day that performance also earned a personal best for kian as well as a, a record for the 22 schools meet interesting her exceptional performance played a significant role in budwin's overall success the team totaled 60 points placing fourth out of the 27 scoring teams so 20 te 27 teams were there and of course out of the 60 points uh kian brought in 28 points into that best they just make a run every make that but that would have tied her right the brothers and sisters but thanks for of course uh kia and benjamin doing a thing as well and of course the benjamin family in dominica big up on yourself one time for producing such an individual to then whoop the peoples bringing her team to fourth place brothers and sisters thank god for that placing fourth out of 27 scoring teams this result matches their 2022 performance marking it as the best for the program in the last 11 years thanks to whom none other than kian benjamin out of dominica right there. not dominica republic no brothers and sisters dominica right there so kudos to kian benjamin and of course thea laford for definitely doing well as dominican blood runners of course big up on yourself and of course jumpers high jumpers as well long jumpers i should say triple jumpers of course big up on yourself for definitely doing what all you do you just want to say we appreciate you guys big up keep doing the great work not just for yourselves but as a representative as well right there brothers and sisters so this is pretty much all, all the vibrations i have to bring for this year br bptv i have to bring some you know some nice vibes you know in this this kind of difficult times the nature is facing brothers and sisters with its leaders and all of that people oh, man uh, thank god for these individuals who are doing wonderful things overseas i just wish that dominicans also had the type of facilities you know that could help them propel because dominica has a lot of talent and skills yes dominica has a lot of talent and skills right there it's just that we lack the resources as a result of you know our leaders unfortunately but brothers and sisters kudos to thea laford and kudos to kian benjamin right there for definitely representing big up on yourself right there guys give this video a thumbs up for them and of course guys tune in to the next reaction video on the on the mr leaks reaction guys of course this is about mr leaks on this year br bptv remember guys be real <laughs> don't forget like i said before to give the thumbs up button click the like button brothers and sisters hit that like button for kian and of course for thea laford for definitely doing their thing or most likely they will definitely see this video from um for, from at any time so big up to you guys as uh, as you do continue your journey and of course be real brothers and sisters salute the king be positive Thank <laughs> you.